Hello there, everybody. How is it going out there? Okay, that sounds all right. Um, I just wanted to kind of shoot the shit for a minute and do little updates on things. Um, first off, uh, the Kentucky Derby. Did you guys watch the Kentucky Derby? Did you bet on the Kentucky Derby? Yeah, did you, did you put a $2 win bet on... Horse 21, Rich Strike. Yeah, I didn't think you did either. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I uh, had um, in my futures pool from a couple months ago, I had picked um, Epicenter and Forbidden Kingdom. And Forbidden Kingdom did not make the race um, due to a glandular thing. And um, Epicenter came in second. 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 And um, my other pick was Zandon, who came in third. So um, I'll just chalk that up as a, um, a, a small victory. Um, but yeah, so that was a f fucking thing. Um, but now that that's out of the way, um, the new Hank Bradshaw book, the new book in the Dead Dame series, um, Dead Dame Curse. Um, if you're a patron on my Patreon, you um, saw the cover reveal, um, and if you didn't do that, then you will see the cover right now. Roughly here. Um, yeah, so Zoe went ahead and did the cover on this one, and um, it looks great. I love the whole kind of haunted house vibe to it. Um, and I'm going to read you the, um, the blurb. I'm not 100% sold on this blurb, but I think it, I think it works. So private detective Hank Bradshaw is hired to keep the peace during a family intervention in an old house in the country on a dark and stormy night. But when one of the family is murdered before the intervention could get underway, the small town police force decide to keep everyone on house arrest at the manor until the killer can be caught. Can Hank catch the murderer before anyone else is killed? Um, yeah, so that's the, that is the sales copy for Dead Dame Curse. And, um, I, I did a video, um, when I started writing it, and I did a video when, um, I think right when I was either almost finished or finished with it. And, um, honestly, it was a lot of fun, um, to not only write Hank again, but, um, do like, a like one of my favorite movies is Clue, um, the John Landis movie with Tim Curry and, um, uh, um, all the rest, Madeline Kahn, for fuck's sake, seriously, um, such a good movie and um i just love those um locked in a house with a killer kind of deals um and this one was really cool too because i feel like a lot of the detection um in my hard-boiled detective mysteries um kind of falls into Hank's lap a lot. Um, like, he does figure shit out, but a lot of it is because before he has a chance to think anything else is going to happen, somebody ends up dead, or um, a clue falls into his lap. Um, and this book, I tried really hard to make detection, I guess is the best way to put it, more of a central focus. And I had a few people give it a read. 
beforehand. And I felt when I was reading, when I was writing it, that the mystery itself, the who done it nature of it was pretty simple, but how it happened is really the the key to unlocking everything. So I feel like when you read it, like you might have a pretty good idea who did it relatively quickly into the book, but the how and um, and the why I think is like everyone has motive. So um, again, that's one of those great, amazing things. Like when you have suspects and all of them have a good motive, but um, the how it actually took place, um, I think is really kind of a home run for me, at least with the Hank Bradshaw books. So um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm really stoked about it. I, I really, um, I guess proud is the word I'm proud of this. So, um, oh yeah, I've got this whole spiel. The pre-order for the book is now. Well, by the time you see this, it will be now. And um, the actual release date is June 7th for the book. So how it will work is if you pre-order it, um, at least this is just for the ebook right now. Um, I actually don't know how pre-orders work for paperbacks, but maybe I will figure some of that out. But um, the pre-order is for the ebook, and um, during the pre-order it'll be two ninety nine, and then when release date hits it'll be four ninety nine. So um, that if that incentivizes you to save a couple bucks. Um, and help me out and read a good story. Um, that's that's all what it's all about here. So um, I don't know. And I was going to finish the gavel. The gavel is um, kind of like my pulpy um, 1940s, like superhero who doesn't have superpowers kind of thing. Um, so I guess it's, that would be just considered a hero pulp. And I was going to finish the fourth book in that series um, and then do something else. But I kind of, I'm on kind of a Hank kick, so I might just go ahead and start another Hank Bradshaw book. Um but I do want to do that um, serialized thing on Kindle Vela. So um, I'm kind of going back and forth. And when you see me look over, I have um, like a, not a calendar, but like a week by week um, schedule of things to get done and everything. So I'm looking over at it right now, trying to see what, like when certain things are due um, cause those self-imposed deadlines, you know, like they work if you, if you like that kind of thing. So anyway, um, that's kind of where I'm at right now. So when you see this video, um, the pre-order link should be in the description below. And, um, so, and if you ha have read any of the, um, Hank Bradshaw dead Dame books, um, let me know. I'd like to. I'd like to hear what you think about them. And if you do uh, pre-order, let me know down below. That'd be awesome. I'd appreciate it. Um, but yeah, and let me know how you did at the Derby. Okay, so until next time, everybody, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.